Hello there everyone, today's video is one for the property developers. So specifically we're talking about VAT, everyone's favourite tax, VAT and property, complicated at the best of times. What I'm going to tell you today uh, makes things even more complicated. So this involves specifically building of new residential property. So I think a lot of people are familiar with the concept of when you buy, uh, sorry, or rather when you build, if you're the developer, when you build a new home, that is a zero rated supply meaning that technically you charge VAT, but at 0%. And that's crucial because even though it's 0%, it's still applicable. VAT is applicable just at the zero rate. It enables you to claim the input VAT on all the associated costs through the chain. I mean, all the supplies that you've been charged VAT thereon, you claim the VAT back. But also as a developer, if you are zero rating the supply of that new build, all the subbies who work for you they will only charge 0% on their invoice as well, notwithstanding the fact we've got the new reverse charge now. But the point is, from a cash flow perspective, you would always want to have that zero rating in place because no one's going to be charging you VAT. Now, this, this particular topic we're going to talk about today is all about when you demolish a building. So what about when you demolish a property, a residential property, and start from scratch and create a new build from what was there before. So the rules are quite simple. They say, look, for you to have that zero rating on the new one that you're building, you have to knock the old one down to ground level. So you've got to go to ground level, got to completely raise the building, then you start from scratch, build a new one. That's what you're gonna do to get your zero rating. If you leave some of the old building intact, then that zero rating doesn't apply. Now, specifically, what the VAT rules say, they say, look, if one of the conditions from the planning authorities to get planning permission for your new build, you had to leave a facade in place from the old building, then that's fine. You can still get your zero rating status. So, yes, the default rule is raise it to the ground. However, if the planning authority said, look, you have to at least leave, you have to leave a facade, then that's okay, you still get it. Now, this particular case that I'm going to tell you about happened in the in the VAT tribunal, the VAT courts recently, and it all tested what does a facade mean. So what happened was in this particular case, the property developer had a building that they wanted to knock down, and the planners said, okay, we will, you know, in order to give you planning permission to build this new residential building on the site, not only must you keep the front facade, but you've also got to keep part of the roof. Don't ask me why they said that, but they said that they had to keep part of the roof. So taxpayer did as they were told by the planners, cracked on and built this new residential property, and then, you know, tried everything as, as zero rated. But, but HMRC said, Oh, no, 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 that's, you've, that's more than just the facade that has been left. You've got some of the roof as well. And the legislation says that only the front can, uh, can be part of the facade. And the taxpayer said, no, it doesn't say anything about that. It just says what it just says facade. So that does include some of the roof. It's joined on. Anyway, the thing went to tribunal. The tribunal sided with HMRC and basically said, look, part of this roof is separate from the facade, the front bit. Uh, facade just means the front bit, not part of a roof. So notwithstanding the fact that they only got planning permission in the first place if they hung on to some of the roof, doesn't matter because it's more than just the facade, zero rating didn't apply and that favorable VAT treatment disappears. Um, however, on the bright side for this particular developer, then there is another VAT rule that was invoked, which says that if, the property had been empty for more than two years, then reduced rating supply. So it wasn't as if it went from 0% to full 20% VAT for these guys because the property had been empty for two years. There's another part of the VAT legislation that says, look, in that situation, 5% VAT applies. So listen, 5%, much better than 20%, not as good as 0%. And obviously they claim that back, but it's just a cash flow issue. Um, so just something to think about there. If you are a property developer, 
particularly if you knocking down a property that you've acquired, knocking it down, starting from scratch, how much are you knocking it down by? Are you really knocking it right to the ground and keeping just a facade? What, you, what is it that you've been asked by the planners to hang on to? Because if it's more than just a facade, if it's some sort of roof or something else that adjoins to the front, then zero rating may be denied. So do have a hard think about that on the VAT status if you are um, demolishing a property and then building a, a new build on that site. So uh, just an overview there on VAT, zero rating and new builds. If you like this video, please do subscribe. And as always, I'll see you soon.